coming from coffee back to pure gastronomy and culinary, at least somehow. Because in the next session, we are going to talk about the future of food, how it could possibly be. Because, obviously, I guess nobody has a crystal ball and can tell us exactly what will happen. But we have somebody here today. I would call him as one of the craziest chefs in Spain who owns a very controversial restaurant. And I know the world is split into two pieces, 50-50. Some love him, what he does, and the other one like to talk about him. So, but... He's basically a master to predict what could possibly happen. So I would like to welcome, and it's me a pure honor, Antonio Luz Adrus from Restaurant Mugaritz here on stage. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Stage is yours. Bueno, muchas gracias. Eh, hablar de cocina o de gastronomía y futuro, uh, siempre, es, siempre es muy eh, osado y por eso he decidido hacerlo. Es algo que me interesa desde hace mucho tiempo. Es algo que me interesa desde hace mucho tiempo. Es algo que me interesa Live is to adapt yourself, no hay mejor and there is no better strategy of adaptation than to be ahead of the future. Eh, Of course, uh, well, I put you this image because uh, everything that has to do with memory, no, sorry, with um, everything that is about symbols, about being ahead of things that don't exist, about uh, those scenes, it's purely something that is in the most evolved part we have, which brings together gastronomic experience, the complexity of different senses uh, being put together in the gastronomic side and is the most evolved side. And of course, with that powerful creativity, and I insist to imagine things that don't exist, we can be ahead of what we can do tomorrow, or in fact tonight. Or even we can imagine what we will do in the next months, but that doesn't exist. It's something we picture because of that ability we have to imagine the future. And when we talk about that future, curiously enough, and if we had to design it or think how it will be, it Well, it will be influenced by something as simple as the way we live, the way we do things. Todo lo que conocemos, todo Everything lo que we know, we don't uh, know, and even the most well, en, en uh, ideologist uh, side uh, has an influence in the way we anticipate what Os will happen and be ahead of what will happen. No and I am telling you this because there's nothing de, de more well, ver, beautiful ejemplo, to understand these ideas than to see. It's, it's very exciting to see how uh, the present times uh, were being anticipated over a hundred years ago. How people were imagining the year 2000 a uh, hundred years ago. And as I was telling you, there's a funny thing. When we shoot uh, forward, when we go forward, we do it from what we know. And look what, how funny, at the end of the 19th century, they thought we will be able to eat with pills, something we saw in the films, so many films and comic books. And it has, well, it, it makes sense, because at the time, that we started to present the idea there was something called uh, calories. So we started to think, uh, make the assumption that the calories would be able to be brought together in something, uh, well, uh, we, we could change in the animalistic, the, the animal side of eating, and uh, until 1913, uh, vitamins are not, not discovered. Until 1932, they are not synthesized the first vitamin, which is vitamin C. And here we started to guess uh, how there was something in the food that could be extracted. Uh, and presented differently and well, that will be over the way we eat uh, in the future. So in, on the article on the right-hand side is something similar. Uh, well, electricity was already trendy. We talk about uh, electric cities, we talk about um, uh, engines, steam machines, and suddenly well, we have a new situation with a new technology and well, we're talking about lighting from um, electricity, not just that. 
the engines too and also well from the cold energy and, uh, and uh, there was a, a big change regarding the way we eat too because of the, the, the cold side of, I mean with the freezers and uh, on the right hand side they are saying that electricity will shape an important change in terms of food especially in farming we could well, we're talking about even that with electricity, we could, we'll be able to work the land and make for the nutrients to act in a different way and to have more abundant crops. And this is what they were anticipating in the past. And here you have this drawings. Maybe the familiar, Asimov, made a book from these uh, pictures that you can find in the National Library in Paris. And this are, these pictures were drawn like postcards that were given out with a tobacco brand. And they were drawing how the year 2000 would be. And well, this collection starts in the 19th century at the end of now, And it lasts until the beginning of 20th century. And look how funny, because something we see that is uh, a hundred years forward in the future presents something that's always with us. I don't know why. And the, these concepts, when we imagine the future, we always see that we people fly. And uh, I don't know what's with the, the humans and the flying, but everyone seems to fly all the time um, with different devices. And there's a train there too that uh, well presents a journey, a long journey between China and Moscow. So electricity was there too, present all, and also well, all kinds of flying elements. And it's funny how they think. Uh, and overseas uh, travel could be, no? and, uh, when you don't have any references in the 1900s, how did they imagine uh, they could travel overseas, well, with the zeppelins and, and, and a boat, no? You can see that, the, that, that, that's how we go across the ocean. So this is just to insist on the idea that every time we try to draw the future, we are mistaken because we use tools that are obsolete. So take a look at another element that is uh, very recurrent too. Uh, robotization. At the time, people thought well, the hairdressers would be done by robots in the year 2000. They, they thought so. Also in the, the building, the construction uh, industry, as you can see, an architect. Uh, there, the, just the architect, the rest are robots. Also, there's an opera. Uh, where you can see the orchestra is uh, played by, well, the whole, all the instruments are played by robots, so the, the children are introduced in a, you put the machines in the, uh, the, the books in the machine, they put it in, in the ears, and that's how they learn, somehow. Maybe it's not that different from how we study nowadays, but, well, sort of. And uh, there's something funny here, too. You can see a farm with a woman that's uh, placing eggs in a machine, and you have chickens on the other side. I mean, <laughs> I don't know uh, why they put... Well, that they made it so complicated, and also how the feast, uh, the astronomic feast, would look like. It, well, it's with pills, actually. And, uh, well, yeah, the, 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 they bring a pill on a tray, and uh, we can see, like, a steam machine in the kitchens and different devices. And, well, that, that's how the kitchen would somehow look like in the future. And I think, uh, well, there are funny things that are look like right now, but some of them no. And also an important detail, the clothes of the people in the 2000, the year 2000, all the clothes, the way they're dressed uh, is from the 20s, no, in what we see in the films of the 20s. But back again to... I mean, ha, ha, how do you think people will dress in the year 2000? Well, like you dressed at the time, at the time you're picturing that. So that's interesting too. And also in terms of food, that, this is how, what they thought. You can see the book 1999. That presented things that did happen. It's quite uh, scientific, futuristic in terms that uh, well, it's able to guess things that are well, quite funny. They were talking about burgers made from wood. 
hamburgers made of wood and also the, um, se plantean, when you can se plantean, see in this piece of news, you can see colonization of the sea, the, 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 the heat generating some vapor, some steam in the water, and or some mushrooms to feed animals, or in 1999, in the book, they say something that the food in the future will be based on plants, and that they will work, work on new varieties, somehow will have much more protein to include the, the, well, the fat that is so important, the robotization. The, you can see chips in robotization all the time, and also electricity, no, sorry, electric, no, sun. Uh, the sun energy is something that is all the time there. Everything filled with sensors and mechanisms that somehow will make the farms and the production areas to be efficient as factories. This is how they were presented, so the term industrial and factory linked to food was not something necessarily uh, wrong. So here we are colonizing the sea, deserts, because we have technology to do so, and the, the farmer, traditional farmer, you can, well, will end up in a museum. <laughs> and, uh, well, una persona de museo. Like, like y esto es bastante interesante, porque en este proyecto, this is es así que hay un constante pulso a la naturaleza, uh, eh, well, que tiene mucho que ver con por qué vamos a comer uh, pastillas, nature, no? perdón, por qué vamos a comer tomates y no comer pastillas. Why eat tomatoes when we can eat pills, right? It's such a burden to have to cook and to eat. And uh, this is what <laughs> they are telling us. So it's about time to take away uh, the, this uh, sanctimonious uh, thing about natural uh, products. So let us present the, all the chemicals that have uh, actually horrible things. But it, it's something that has been essential for nutrition because we didn't have the chemicals required by our, by our organism in a digestible way. So you can see the speech in 1953 opposite what's happening today. But this is how they thought things would take place apart from the future, what the future theories were like this. But what happens when you try to be ahead of the future, to guess the future? It's like when you play a chess uh, game, and you know the number of options that are generated every time you start a chess game. No, the number of moves. 165 quadrillion um, moves possible. And this is what can happen if we try to hold on to an idea, uh, taking for granted that this is how things are going to go. And you know it was decisive, uh, and I think there are some things that can be guessed. There was a the climate change that was decisive, so that the Homo sapiens made a qualitative uh, leap to start with, uh, well, with uh, taming animals, and this was through well, something purely natural, you know, climate change, that unchanged, unchanged things. Of, but, I mean, who can guess climate change? Nowadays we can, but in different circumstances, something so big is difficult to anticipate, but it does have a big impact. Otra cosa Another funny thing, Yo creo que era I think it was about time that we, well, we found America, or America found us. El año Bueno, pues fue el que fue. I mean, it was the year we know, but I think it was impossible la, as uh, gente, civilization went forward. It's impossible not to find America. Sooner or later, this had to happen, right? This is something that we could have guessed. But what's difficult to guess is that once we get to America, we find this cereal that is extraordinary, like Amaranto, and uh, the church forbids it. So what's it? What, what do you, I mean, what can you do against such a thing, right? It's something that cannot be foreseen. What would have happened in, in 
en la fa famosa batalla de 1212, en la Navas de Rosa, battle, instead of the Christian army winning, the, well, the Arabs would have won the margin, and hoy en día no habría ni jamón. Jerez, we, 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 didn't, we wouldn't have ham, the eh, Iberian ham, or the sherries we o sea, know, un, un right? So, um, muchas veces imprevisible, something que that it cannot be guessed, uh, changes history Yo creo que, por forever. Ejemplo, For example, the cold or mobility was also a matter of time. No, to find mechanisms and for us to look for things that we need, that we guess uh, we need, it's just about time. Some way or the other, they have to happen. And I think cold, too, had to happen, and mobility, we always wanted to go faster. The human being always wanted to go faster. And this was just a matter of time. And also some funny things, because What you can see here is a print. Was it a decisive thing? Yes, it was. Because we changed uh, many things, right? Uh, the knowledge was uh, transferred and everything, but what do we want to print the printers? If people cannot read, so it was more important for people to learn to read than to have just uh, the printers. You don't need books if people cannot read them. So there are things that take place. That, well, se, se obvian, ¿no? Are, ejemplo, esto, ¿no? El principal error we forget. No, the main mistake when imagining a future based on probabilities is que más allá de las not to mention that beyond the starting technologies, we need to take into account the transformations de of social behaviors derived from them that encourage changes in the lifestyles, in the alternative vision of a world that renews its priorities. And it is true. Priorities are renewed. So in the 50s, or 60s, or 40s, no, uh, until now. So here, they were right, no? the controlled farms, but well, no, farms controlled by Robots, so they were not wrong bueno, about everything. So nowadays, presente, back to the present time. En, en de so in terms of uh, food, these are some of the inputs that are notar, ¿no? uh, well, most talked about: synthetic micro food, capsulas, microcapsules, microproteins, microproteins biostimulants, metagenoma, probióticos. AI, biotecnología, fungicida, insectos, algas, insects, algae. Functional ingredients, ingeniería de tejidos, tissue no engineering, plant-based. Plant es so this is the present time, the futuristic eh, manera, present time. It somehow seems that will be ¿no? in the most uh, immediate future. Oye, que no me va. Oof, this is not working. Yes, vale. now. Fijaros, estos son algunas de las so empresas, look at the companies eh, that están trabajando en todos are esos, en working de, on that assumptions of uh, food assumptions that, well, o sea, that we will find in the supermarket a de soon. So from eh, tropical oil, they are looking for eh, alternatives eh, to están, animal oil. Some fee, uh, uh, companies that are eh, from crustaceans uh, and no? finding different, uh, de ternera, de are replicating de meats de from crustaceous. Uh, Gelatex is creating uh, eh, jello eh, without the need eh, to process eggs huevos. or alternatives eh, to eggs. Eh, 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 also, in the 50s eh, or the 40s, leche, eh, they said that eh, we would see milk that doesn't come from. Uh, cows, and we, we're already seeing that happen. Eh, and bueno, uh, well, anything we can imagine is we're, we're finding alternatives uh, uh, for them. Este curiously enough, this observatory eh, about uh, eating habits and este, lifestyle ejemplo, says, for que example, que the people from Madrid insects, no? are the most willing to eat insects, or 26.5% of, of them, of the People eh, asked zona, would eat them, noreste, but in the north east area, just 15% would dare eat them. So when we have these, <laughs> these kind of questions, of would you eat this kind of protein or these animals? So, well, we can see that. Uh, It's already there, but a different thing is what you ask, and a different thing is what's true. Um, basically, this is the ranking year after year. It doesn't change much, but what people eat at home, not people in Spain eat Green salad, the most. Second, pizzas. And third, tomato salad. So if you thought that the pizza out there was Napolitana pizza, you're wrong. The, those are Spanish pizzas, because this is what most people eat at home, and it's something that you can see all the time. And uh, I wanted to 
¿Por qué se contaba? Why did I tell you all this? Claro, dices, este And tío, yes, I mean, ¿a dónde, a dónde this guy, will, where does he want to get with this uh, futuristic? A este punto. Futuristic. Un, un libro. You have a book. Que está muy Here, bien, por cierto, además. Very good, es, es muy vigente, es fantástico. No, it's very modern. Y lo que más me llamó la atención de este proyecto, what struck me most about the project, insisto, and I bueno, insist, it's very good. And lo que más me llamó la, la, la atención, very a ver. Modern. Bien. And Ahora lo voy a what I found primero, more striking is the difference ¿no? between food and uh, I mean, food is to feed yourself, and um, gastronomy is uh, well, the most sophisticated Pero, version of eating. Aquí, Why am I telling you this? Well, here sí, in the, the, this magazine, in fact, after the title, you can see las 50, the 50, sí, 50, yeah, 50 people creando el futuro de la food. O sea, aquí se anuncia so here, aquí se anuncia se presenta las 50 personas 50 que están creando el futuro de la creating the future of food. Claro. I mean, a estas personas en un momento determinado se les pregunta asked, cuál es tu comida favorita. What's your favorite food? Y entonces la gente dice and people say algunos dicen, zanahorias. Carrots. Las favoritas son las zanahorias. No, that's my favorite food. Los que están diseñando están al frente de la comida del futuro. Uno de ellos, su comida favorita son las palomitas de maíz. Y otro, la coliflor con pan. Y otro, cualquier plato integral basado en vegetales. Y otro, setas de carne. Y otro, huevos de mushrooms Y otro, benedict eggs. ¿Realmente queremos que estas personas diseñen la comida del futuro? ¿Realmente? Queremos we want, do we want these people to design the food of the future? Por eso planteo, planteo that's, esta that's why I'm Yo creo que la making this question here. Because I think the food of the future, va a ser muy to be honest, will cambios, be very similar with slight changes because it always evolves to something that's more holistic and it has to do with the well-being concept. Allá, and uh, de no uh, las que uh, planeta, beyond avoiding our responsibility, towards the planet, there will be a food that will be creative, that will be safe, that will be safe, that will be safe, that will be safe, that will be that will be safe, with history, with culture, with the social side, all new ones, including the hierarchies and other in a society, all of this makes the food in the future, which is similar to what we have today, and I hope far from this futuristic assumptions that are somehow being labeled and uh, entitled as the food of the future. So think about something funny. We are at a complicated time uh, globally with the climate change, with the population increases and all the situations we find ourselves in. And we will need all the human creativity possible if we may find to pull down the pressure on the planet in terms of food. No that nadie. is true. Yo, eh, manera, and uh, este aquí, even if I'm speculating here, you will need the milk from the lab and the Pero proteins no from the lab. But we mustn't forget something very important. Advierte. The FAO que en los últimos 100 años han desaparecido Says that in the last 100 years we've seen disappear 1000 para alimentarnos y que nos vienen acompañando en los no sé that have been with us in the last 15000 years que esa diversidad feeding us genética and the FAO perdiendo, uses no hay that genetic diversity which is being lost there is not technology si to replace that so gente, us being people from the alta, food on the gastron gastronomic eh, side no the high side if we don't start to raise our voices si no a a in favor of this to help raising awareness todo el we will lose our heritage that took, I mean, mm, 15,000 years in, to build. Insisto, hay que ir de la mano con todas las cosas nuevas, pero we have to, of course, uh, go hand in hand with the new things, but we shouldn't forget our responsibility. Thank you very much. Yeah. What should I say? Perfect. Sorry, but we cannot communicate as he speaks. Uh, Spanish and I English, German, or a little bit of Portuguese, but thank you very much. Placer, placer, placer. I think the crazy man and I should have a couple of drinks tonight. Okay. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you.
Muchas gracias a todos. Thank you all. Bye.